limitations of the law of marginal utility now as all laws in economics have some limitations this law also has limitations first homogeneous goods now for law of diminishing marginal utility to operate it is important that the goods which are considered that the goods which are consumed are homogeneous in nature now what do you mean by homogeneous goods homogeneous goods means identical goods or same goods for example if you are consuming chocolates you should go on consuming the same chocolate if you are consuming the ice cream you should go on consuming the same ice cream in this case when we apply the law of diminishing marginal utility it is imperative that the same product is consumed that is if you consume chocolates you need to consume chocolates and not only that you need to consume the same brand same flavor and the other attributes also being the same but if you consume other goods that is when the goods are not homogeneous the law won't be applicable because when the goods are not homogeneous you tend to derive different level of satisfaction so when you have a chocolate and again when you have ice cream these two won't be comparable so for the law of diminishing marginal utility to operate it is important that the goods are homogeneous second standard units of consumption now in this point standard means reasonable the units of consumption should be reasonable let's consider a person who is very thirsty and if you feed him only a spoon of water that will not be a reasonable unit of consumption probably when he gets the second spoon of water he might get a higher amount of satisfaction from it so when we are considering the law of diminishing marginal utility we have to consider at least reasonable units or the standard units of consumption in this case the standard unit of consumption would be a glass of water continuous consumption now your consumption has to be continuous it cannot be a case it cannot be the case where you are consuming one unit today the other unit tomorrow the third unit day after and so on and so forth the consumption has to be continuous because if you have a gap between the consumption the satisfaction level may change the satisfaction level may increase or decrease depending upon the need for the consumption of that commodity or the intensity of the want to consume that commodity so for the law to operate it is important that the consumption is continuous and there is no gap between the consumption of two units the law fails in case of prestigious good wouldn't you like to have more gold or wouldn't you like to have more diamonds or wouldn't you like to have more money so more of these things you get more is the happiness more is the satisfaction level more is the utility that you derive so for the law to operate you have to cut out the prestigious or the superior goods the law does not operate in such goods the law operates only where normal goods are considered the law does not operate in case the related goods do not remain constant or there is a change in the related goods now we've already learned that related goods are of two types one complementary goods the other substitutes now the absence or presence of substitutes or complementary goods might affect the consumption pattern 
it might also affect the utility derived from the commodities being consumed let's take the example of tea now assume that the first cup of tea that you are having is without sugar and the second cup of tea that you are having is with sugar now what will happen is the utility or the satisfaction level derived from the second cup of tea will obviously be more than the first cup of tea so in such a case the law of diminishing marginal utility will not apply